Fourth race enters the stretch, and it's the second elimination of the 21st and 2004 Pepsi North America Cup. And they're off and pacing. Strong start, flashy Baron sent out of there very fast. On the outside, along the pylons, his fantastic span. Going to follow on through. Town champion, one of the three best away. Leader by Ama looks to tuck over from fourth. Camelot Hall floats up fifth under state lines. On the outside in Pan Pacific Flight is still there, mired in between horses. Third from last, Grassini, then Scalawag Hanover. Western Prince was ninth and last away. Flashy Baron to the lead. Driving on his outside, town champion. 26 and four. Town Champion drives to the lead. Leader Bayama up and at it early. Flashy Baron back at the inside third and Penn's Pacific Flight is content to float up there fourth on the outside and go on with it. On the inside fifth, that's Fantastic's Pan on the way to the half as Penn's Pacific Flight now sets sail on Leader Bayama on the lead on the way to the half. That's Grissini. Look at Campbell. He's got a huge stranglehold and pulls him to the outside from sixth position. Camelot Hall is going to follow his flow from seventh. Scalawag Hanover and Western Prince complete Completed the field. 55 and 2 was the half. Penn's Pacific Flight has crossed over and moved away by two. Three eighths of the mile to go in the fourth and in the second Cup 21 elimination. Back in second after leading it briefly was leader by Ama. Grissini edging up first over. Camelot Hall improving again. Second over into the top four. At the inside, Town Champion backed away a little bit from fifth. Western Prince improved. Sixth on the outside, Flashy Baron losing ground from seventh. And the last pair at head stretch, Scalawag Hanover and Santastic's Pan. It's all Pan's Pacific Flight. Then Grissini. Here comes Camelot Hall, and he has pace down the middle of the track. 124 and 4. Soft third of 29 and 2. Pan's Pacific Flight. Camelot Hall. Grissini between horses. Late presence Western Prince, but it's Pan's Pacific Flight. Well measured winner in the second Cup 21 elimination over Camelot Hall and long shot Western Prince. Pan's Pacific Flight. 151 and 3. is entered tonight in the NA Cup eliminations and uh, maybe a bit of relief early on, Kevin, uh, to get through that elimination and, and see how well the colt raced. Yeah, for sure. Very pleased with me, very well. Uh, there were some people, I think, that had uh, actually question marks uh, surrounding him coming here to Woodbine, even though he was so impressive last week. Uh, wondering, you know, how would he get around this track? Uh, how did you, you think he handled things tonight? Uh, obviously, the win was there. Uh, he paced he paced a lot better tonight on this track really so uh no uh, he, his gait was real good and uh, he handled the turns very good very pleased with him what will he do uh between now and next week's final uh he don't need much training probably just a mile and 20 40 20. he, he uh he doesn't need a whole lot of training to keep him sharp and uh what did driver luke Willett have to say after the trip I asked him if he was as, as pressed with him now as he was before, and he said, oh, yeah. All right. Now, Kevin, uh, you were in a, in a very stressful uh, $2,500 claiming series final uh, back in your Cape Breton days. Uh, how's this going to match up next week going for $1.6 million? Oh, I think it's just a little <laughs> bit different. <laughs> a little bit of a party in Cape Breton if you win? Oh, for sure. All right. Good luck next week. Uh, congratulations on the win here. Okay. Thanks, Greg. Kevin McMaster, Pan's Pacific Flight, gets it done as expected. The heavy favorite in his elimination tonight. We've got the junior free-for-all pacers on the way next in race five.